Kalvakuntla Chandrashikar Rao, born the 17th of February 1954, better known and abbreviated as KCR, is an Indian politician and the first Chief Minister of Telangana, a new state formed by the division of Andhra Pradesh in 2014. He is the leader and founder of the Telangana Rashtra Samiti, a regional party in India. He is a member of the Legislative Assembly Telangana from the Gajwal constituency of Siddipet district in Telangana. Previously, he served as the member of the Legislative Assembly Andhra Pradesh from Siddipet and also as the member of parliament from Mabubnagar, Karamnagar and Medak. He took oath as the first chief minister of the new state of Telangana on 2 June 2014. He went for early elections in 2018, when his cabinet recommended to dissolve the legislative lower house, six months before the completion of his term. Early life Rao was born to Kalvakuntla Raghava Rao and Venkatama at Chintalamadaka village of Siddipet Mandal in Medak district on 17 February 1954. He attained a MA degree in literature from Asmania University, Hyderabad. Political career Congress Party KCR started his career with the Youth Congress Party in Medak district. Later he joined Telugu Desam Party led by N.T. Rama Rao. Topic Telugu Desam Party KCR joined the TDP in 1983 and contested against A. Maidan Mohan and lost that election. He won four consecutive assembly elections from Siddipet 1985 and 1999. From 1987–1988, he worked as Minister of Drought and Relief in N.T. Rama Rao's cabinet. In 1990, he was appointed as TDP convener for Medak, Nizamabad, and Adilabad districts. In 1996, he worked as Transport Minister in Chandrababu Naidu's cabinet. He also served as the Deputy Speaker of the Andhra Pradesh Assembly from 2000–2001. Telangana Rashtra Samiti On 27 April 2001, Rao resigned as Deputy Speaker, TDP Party as well. He stood for the people of the Telangana region were being discriminated and believed that separate state is the only solution. In April 2001, he formed the Telangana Rashtra Samiti party at Yala Drushyam, Hyderabad to achieve Telangana statehood. In the elections of 2004, Rao won the Siddipet State Assembly constituency and also the Karamnagar Lok Sabha constituency, both as a TRS candidate. The TRS fought the 2004 general elections in alliance with the Indian National Congress with a promise of Congress party to give Telangana state and Rao was one of the five TRS candidates who was returned as MPs. TRS was part of the United Progressive Alliance coalition government, led by Congress. He went on to become a union cabinet minister of labor and employment in the United Progressive Alliance government at the center with his party colleague Ilay Narendra who became minister of rural development and Janu Jakaraya as chairman for national National Minimum Wages Advisory Board. The party later withdrew from the coalition, saying that the alliance was not minded to support a separate Telangana state. He has resigned as MP in 2006 on a challenge of Congress and won with a huge majority of Marathan 200,000 votes. Again he resigned as MP in agitation of Telangana movement and won with a minor majority. In 2009, Rao fought and won the Mabubnagar Lok Sabha elections. The TRS party fought the general elections as part of the opposition coalition led by TDP. In 2014, KCR was elected as MLA from Gajwal Assembly constituency of Medak Dist of Telangana State with a majority of 19,218 and as MP from Medak Lok Sabha constituency with a majority of 397,029 on 16 May 2014. After formation of Telangana state 
In Telangana, the TRS, which led the campaign for a separate state for more than a decade, emerged victorious by winning 11 of the 17 Lok Sabha seats and 63 of the 119 Assembly seats, and emerged as the party with the largest vote share. Chief Minister of Telangana 2014 -present. KCR was sworn in as the first Chief Minister of the Telangana State at 12.57 pm on 2 June 2014. Rao, a staunch believer in astrology, numerology and Vasta, is reported to have fixed this time for his inauguration as per the advice of priests to suit his lucky number 6. KCR was re-elected eight times as TRS president His welfare programs are aimed at reviving the rural economy and are focused on the development of each community. An intensive household survey, Samagra Katumba Survey SKS, was done in a single day on 19 August 2014 across the state to arrive at citizen information for rolling out welfare programs. The data collected pertaining to 94 parameters, covered 1 crore 4 lakh households in the state. Irrigation He launched the ambitious irrigation project, Kaleshwaram with a capital outlay of 85,000 crore rupees to irrigate 1 crore acres and phase 1 to be launched in June 2018 and completed by early 2019. <laughs> Farmer's welfare He started his welfare program by loan waiver scheme of 17,000 crore rupees, owed by 38 lakh farmers in the state. He started Mission Kakatiya for restoration and rejuvenation of 46,000 lakes and tanks. The 24-hour uninterrupted and quality power was given to farmers for free, from earlier policy of 9 hours free power to farmers. A scheme to increase greenery, Haritha Haram was launched in 2014. A farmer's investment support scheme, Raithu Bandhu, with 4,000 rupees per acre per crop, for two seasons in a year, is launching on 20 April 2018. <laughs> <laughs> Agriculture The agriculture godowns in the state in 2014 were at 4 MTC, the newly scientifically built godowns increased to 22 MTC by 2015, the highest in India. The 44 state agriculture markets were connected to National Electronic Agriculture Market Platform, e Topic: <laughs> New districts As promised in the manifesto, 21 new districts were created to the existing 10 districts, a total of 31 districts on Dussehra, 21 October 2016. They were created to ease administration, access to the government closer to the people. Education <inaudible> 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 Telangana state has the highest number of residential schools in India 875, for all communities, including 577 residential schools launched in three years. <laughs> <laughs> Land records purification A land record purification exercise, which was earlier taken up in 1931 by the Nizam, to update the land records across the state was started in September 2017 and was completed in three months. A new Padadar passbook, with highly secure, tamper-proof, with 22 features will be launched in April 2018. An online up-to-date land records database will be available on Durrani website of the government. The MRO was given the power to carry out registration. The whole exercise will simplify and reduce land disputes significantly. Topic: <inaudible> Traditional craft occupations. For shepherds, a sheep distribution program was started in June 2017 with a budget of 12,000 crore rupees to increase their financial position. Telangana Sheep Distribution Scheme. For fishermen community, the state provided 51 crore fish seed to increase the fishing industry significantly. 
After its success, the 82 crore fish seeds will be provided in 2018 19. For Milkman Community, the government distributed a buffalo each to around 2 lakh dairy farmers at a subsidized rate of 50%. Topic. Housing A 2 BHK house for the poor, double bedroom housing scheme was launched in 2015 with a capital outlay of 20,000 crore rupees for building houses for 2.72 lakh beneficiaries. Topic. Industrial policy After the formation of the government, restoration of 24-hour uninterrupted power supply to industries was taken as a top priority and was achieved by 2015. A new widely acclaimed, industrial license clearance named TSI Pass was launched for fast-track clearances. In 2017, on ease of doing business index in India, Telangana, with a score of 60.48%, stood first, while Haryana and West Bengal scored 53.49% and 43.28%. India's largest incubator for startups, T-Hub was started in November 2015. Topic women and child health He started AMA ODI and KCR Kit Scheme, a highly successful program for pregnant, lactating woman and child support health kit in June 2017. A nutritional program for malnourished, Arogya Lakshmi Scheme for woman and child. A scheme to distribute a sari to each woman over 18 years was launched in September 2017 with a budget of 225 crore rupees. The saris were distributed during the festival of Bathakama called as Bhattakama saris. The sari making was given to beleaguered weavers of Sirasila. Kalyana Lakshmi, Shadi Mubarak, a financial incentive of 1 rupee, 00, 116 to the poor, to prevent child marriages and to meet marriage expenses was launched in 2015. Pensions. <inaudible> <inaudible> The Old Age, Widow Pension Scheme, Asura Pension was launched in 2014 with increased pensions from 200 rupees to 1,000 rupees per month. And for the physically disabled to 1,500 rupees per month. <laughs> Purified drinking water The scheme to provide potable drinking water reaching all people in the state called Mission Bhagiratha was started in 2017 and to be completed by April 2018 with a capital outlay of 45,000 crore rupees. Health A new health initiative for free health checkups for everyone, Telangana State Health Profile was announced and is slated to begin in April 2018. <laughs> Dalit welfare The government is providing up to three acres of agriculture land for the landless or partial owners of the land. This scheme is a long-term plan which could take ten years to fulfill the promise. Topic. Government services delivery through IT The citizen IT interface is top in India for digital transactions for various services of the government are met by MeSiva. The Electronic Service Delivery ESD provides 40 government departments and 600 private related services through the internet and mobile apps. Topic Personal life Kalvakuntla Chandrasekhar Rao is married to Shobha and has two children. His son, K. T. Rama Rao, is a legislator from Sursila Rajana District, previous Karamnagar District, Telangana and is the Cabinet Minister for IT, Municipal Administration and Urban Development Departments. His daughter, Kalvakuntla Kavitha, is an MP from Nizamabad, Telangana. His nephew, Harish Rao, is MLA for the Siddipet constituency and is now the Cabinet Minister for Irrigation, Legislative Affairs, and Marketing in the Telangana government. KCR has nine sisters and one elder brother. KCR has good command over languages like Telugu, English, Urdu, and Hindi. He lives with his family at the official chief minister residence, Pragathi Bhavan in Hyderabad city. <laughs> 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 
Political statistics Awards Popular Choice Award at CNN Ibn Indian of the Year 2014 Agricultural Leadership Award 2017 Economic Times Awards – Business Reformer of the Year 2018